talking about Dana White's Contender Series Week 8 matchup. We have Carlos, Mr. Marvelous, Ulberg taking on Bruno Oliveira in a light heavyweight matchup. Uh, first things first, let's get down to the stats. We got 2-0, Mr. Marvelous fighting out of Auckland, New Zealand, 29 years old. Uh, he's gonna. This is a light heavyweight bout, so it's gonna come in at weighing at 205. He is six foot four, and he's fighting at a city kickboxing where all the dope New Zealanders and Aussies fight out of. And he's taking on Bruno Oliveira, eight and one, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, 36 years old. So, uh, Mr. Marvelous is gonna have a seven year uh, youth advantage, you could say. Um, he usually fights at middleweight. It looks like at 185 pounds. That's his latest weight, and he's also six foot four. So first up, I want to talk about uh, Carlos Yulberg, Mr. Marvelous. As you can see, here's his uh, tapology record right here. He's got three in succession KO wins in the kickboxing ring and two victories in a row in the MMA octagon, I guess you could say, depending on where he was fighting at. But anyways, this dude trains like city kickboxing. He's the main training partner for Israel Adesanya. So, you know, that's nothing to scoff at right there. Um, he's very athletic, super explosive, fast twitch muscle fiber. Uh, he's a powerful kickboxer. He's got nice heavy leg kicks and just powerful kicks in general. Um, he'll pump out the jab from the orthodox stance. He's got good left hooks, good counter hooks, nice timing on him as well. Uh, he's, he has a nice straight right. Seems to have decent takedown defense with strong hips and good balance um, against non-wrestlers at least. Uh, decent cardio if the fight stays standing. He has a lot of raw potential. Um, that he hasn't really tapped into his striking is, is really good. He seems pretty comfortable on his feet But um, I, I haven't really seen any of his ground game yet But like I said, he is training with all those uh, beasts over there at City Kickboxing So that's only gonna benefit him and by the way Brad and Izzy actually are going to be uh, in his corner for this fight so You know take that for what you will, but I definitely see his advantage being in the striking um, If he can keep it standing he should outclass Bruno um, to a decision or potentially even a TKO victory, but moving on to his opponent Bruno Oliveira who is 8-1 in his own right um, He's on a three-fight win streak. He's got six KO wins to his record one sub win one decision win and his only loss comes by way of submission in his most recent fight in 2019 against Jared Gooden um, He pretty much demolished him with some close-range elbows. He finished him off with a flurry of uh, a flurry of strikes he throws a beautiful uh, straight right but I do see him at a technical disadvantage on the feet like I uh, mentioned earlier his path to victory might be a sub even though he's only got one of those uh, via arm triangle so the, the big question is uh, can Bruno get him to the ground um, and sub him you know is he gonna be able to and I saw Mr. Marvelous being able to defend takedowns against non wrestlers that's not to say Bruno is a wrestler um, I wasn't really able to see too much tape on him, so I'm not really sure if uh, You know how his takedowns are in general, but Just based off of what I saw from the tape I think mr. Marvelous has good enough takedown defense to avoid getting taken down and I think his striking is a little bit better than Bruno's um, I think is he's just technically better and he probably has a power advantage Even though Bruno does have six KO wins to his record So nothing to scoff at there either, you know, Bruno's deadly as well with the eight and one record but I mean, the guys that he's fought, they're okay. Jared Gooden, 14 and 3, pretty good. Alan Dutra, 3 and 0, all right. But then he's got wins over guys like Lucas Roncoli, who's 0 and 1. And he's lost to guys like uh, Barbosa, who's 4 and 2. You know, and then he's got wins over guys like 1 and 2, 2 and 7. So, I mean, you know, the level of competition isn't really there. And with Mr. Marvelous training at City Kickboxing with those studs, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go Mr. Marvelous uh, via TKO. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys agree, disagree. If you guys have any more information, I always love hearing, uh, you know, different perspectives. So let me know.